What's up guys? So about a year ago, I transformed a room in my house into a home cinema room. It was a massive project which took three weeks from start to finish, but we got it done and I documented the whole process and put it on YouTube and you guys loved it. We put seating in, light boxes, LED strips, a projector, a screen, surround sound, and even starlights to give it that wow factor. But there's one big thing that we didn't do that we're going to be doing in this video. This is my home cinema transformation part two. So that's the current setup, but today we're gonna to be taking this room to the next level by adding a P, oh, look at the light. By adding a PS5 function to the room. I cannot wait for this. I've imagined gaming in the cinema room and it's like, I think it would be incredible. But today we're gonna to actually find out. There are a few unknowns and variables. Number one is the PS5 operates by Bluetooth. So the PS5, I think it's gonna be in the rack, so will it be laggy or will it be super responsive and a joy to play we'll find out and that's exactly where the governor comes in <laughs> oh, quickly before we do i need to show you the current gaming setup so in here is my studio got my laptop here which is where i do the majority of my editing right here in this room in this studio now a lot of you will have seen that i put out a video of me gaming right here actually about a year ago or so and it went pretty viral and it had the lights synced up to the console all done using this thing here which is called a Philips Hue sync box then you literally download the Philips Hue sync app then the lights will sync up to whatever is on the screen so you can see that is how it's working it's uh, let's go on to a game because that's when you get the best results out of it yeah look at that so it's really intelligent it picks up the colors of the pixels on the screen and then it puts them into the LED strips super super cool So here we go, the PS5 handover. Governor. No pressure. There it is. <laughs> Over to your trusted hands. So we made an extra space in the rack just so if Jezza ever wanted to add stuff to it, such as the PS5, so we've allowed some extra room. Oh, we've got HDMI. See that? He's ahead of the game. He knew this day was coming. <laughs> I knew, I knew. So oh, the, space, the space is already there in the rack. Oh, look at that. That looks sick. Do you know what bugs me though? There's one little chip on the rack wow. there. Can you see that? Let me focus it. I can't tell you how much that annoys me. Oh my gosh. But anyway, that looks good. It looks good in the rack. Ah, oh, a little polish up. See, <laughs> see that? See the attention to the <laughs> That is customer service right there. Okay, so this is the current rack. This is how the cinema room works. We're not gonna go into the techie stuff of how this all works. So the PS5's gone in there, and then how are we connecting that up, Dan? Is it literally just a HDMI or? Yeah, so we've got HDMI, which then goes into the cinema amplifier. Yeah. And then we've got an ethernet and obviously power and then we're off. Boom, let's do it. I'm just gonna be a fly on the wall. That's good. As if I'm not here. Just pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> 4K HDMI in, ethernet in. Boom, and that's it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Got to do a little bit of programming on the control four side, but that's yep. a simple job. So let's get that done. Okay, so the governor's in here doing the magic on the laptop. Got no idea what he's doing or how it works. Dan, talk to me what we've got. So this is the control four system where we're gonna integrate the PS5 into this. Ah, quickly before we test the room, with the, every time I come out of the cinema room, that light just goes warm. It's because it's such a contrast. The dark room versus the light. Um, you're gonna like this. So you know how we've got the light boxes in a cinema room with different canvases? I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought loads of different canvas options and I keep them in the shed. So. And I'm pretty sure that there is a Call of Duty one in here. So let's have a look through. We've got Harry Potter. Don't worry if they're creased, by the way. They stretch on the light boxes so that you can't even tell. Okay, we've got the notebook there. That's where the girly night's in. Finding Nemo. The Dark Knight. The Matrix. Come on. We've got 300. I forgot I had all of these. Ah, so this is a gaming one. It's FIFA, but it's a little bit out of date. So it kind of would make the room feel a bit dated. So we're not going to go with that. Um, Terminator. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got? It's not going to be Miami. Where is it? Where are you? Ah, I think this is it. I think this is it here. Boom! Modern Warfare. Now, I know this isn't the latest version of the cover, but I think it's going to be fine anyway. So, it's the best we've got. 
let's go with it we're going to use this i'm going to take this to the cinema room put it up on one of the light boxes and it will just help the room to feel a little bit more like a gaming room let's go I can, to be fair i've got other do i go full gaming i've got to go full gaming because there's other games i've got other games i'm going full gaming i'm going back i'm going back i'm going back Right, I've come back in the shed because rather than just do one light box, I'm going to do all three. So there are, if I remember rightly, there are some more games. Yes. So we got four guys here. It's a game. It will do for now. It's got nice colours. I think there was a Minecraft one somewhere. Where is it? Let me just throw this out. Um, ah, there we go. Boom. Minecraft. Done. All right, we'll go with that. Four guys, Minecraft and Call of Duty. Right, here we go. So, Governor. Let's go. Do you mind helping me with this? No problem. I told you the creases wouldn't matter because it just stretches the canvas out so any creases just completely come out straight away look at that okay so this is it it's all ready to go this is the moment of truth we're about to see if the ps5 works and functions well in this cinema room so first things first i'm going to turn the lighting down in the room because that's how we get maximum contrast on the screen so first up starlight gone next up spotlights gone next up the light boxes See you later. And finally, last but not least, it's the LED strips. Oy, now look at the screen. We are ready to go. Oh, the image is good. The image is good. Let me just sit back a bit. Oh, do you know what? We should have the starlights on. There we go. Okay, so the starlights are on. Look, that matches the PS5. <laughs> Boom, and we're in. Okay, let's get it fired up and let's test the sound. Let's test the surround sound. I can't wait to hear the speakers. And also we're gonna see if the responsiveness is good with the PS5 being a bit further away. The responsiveness is good. It's really good. Here we go. We are ready to go. Let's get it. Let's go have a bit of Nuketown, do some damage. <laughs> I'm gonna see me play COD for the first time now. A bit of a problem when I'm on the point. Boom! <laughs> the sound is unbelievable. What? And what? And what? <laughs> this is sick! Oi, oi, he's coming for me. So that's it guys, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Massive thank you again to Dan the Governor for coming Pleasure around and taking the cinema room to a whole different level. You happy with the work? Looks great, sounds great. I think you're gonna be in there a lot. Mate, me too. It's gonna to be a problem because I've got so much work to do. I'm gonna be like, nah, let me, just, let me just have a little break in the cinema room. But guys, honestly, I hope you've enjoyed watching this process. And like I said, this guy's the best guy in the business when it comes to doing cinema rooms. So if you ever want one, you know, Airwave AV. Boom, got a hat as well for show. Boom. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Before we take the cinema room to a whole different level, let's have a look at the current gaming cell. <laughs> the light boxes. Oh, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. All right, we're on, we're on. <laughs>